A moonlit night on a serene beach, the soft lapping of waves is a sound familiar to many of us. But did you know that the simple phenomenon of a wave holds mysteries that once threatened to overturn the entire scientific world? Picture this, the year is 1901. Scientists believe they've unraveled all the universe's secrets. But an experiment, later dubbed the Michelson-Morley experiment, left the scientific community scratching their heads. Their apparatus, delicately designed to detect the Earth's motion through the luminiferous ether, came back with a null result. This experiment, based on the principles of waves, challenged everything they knew. But we'll dive deeper into that tale in just a moment. First, let's clarify what waves are. Simply put, waves are disturbances that transfer energy from one place to another. You toss a stone into a pond, and the ripples? Those are surface waves. But waves aren't just in water. They're everywhere. In the ground during an earthquake, in the air when you speak, even in the universe as massive stars explode. Every wave has a crest the highest point, and a trough the lowest point. The distance between one crest to the next, or one trough to the next, is called the wavelength. And the number of waves passing a point in a given time is termed as frequency. But waves had a dual mystery. While waves like sound needed a medium to travel through, light did not. For years, scientists believed in the existence of a mysterious substance called ether which light waves traveled through. And that brings us back to our suspenseful historical event. The Michelson-Morley experiment was set up to detect this ether. They believed that as Earth moved around the Sun, it would cause a wind in the ether, affecting the speed of light. Their equipment was so precise it could detect even the tiniest change in light speed. But after numerous trials, there was no change, nothing. It was as if the ether didn't exist. This null result threw science into chaos. If there was no ether, how did light travel? The solution came from a young clerk in the Swiss patent office. His name? Albert Einstein. His theory of relativity, published in 1905, stated there was no need for ether. Light, unlike sound, didn't require a medium. This revolutionary idea changed the course of physics. But there's more to waves. Imagine tuning your guitar and feeling another guitar string vibrating without being touched. That's resonance. Or picture a bridge collapsing due to troops marching in sync. That's destructive resonance. In modern times, we've harnessed the power of waves in myriad ways. Microwaves warm our food, radio waves let us communicate across vast distances, and seismic waves help us locate oil and gas deep within Earth. And how can we forget about the massive gravitational waves? Born from cataclysmic events like black holes colliding, these waves stretch and squeeze space itself. Detecting them was considered impossible until 2015 when LIGO made the groundbreaking discovery. But, as is the nature of science, with every answer, come more questions. Waves are an integral part of our universe, from the songs we hear to the galaxies far away. They've stumped scientists, inspired thinkers, and continue to play a crucial role in our understanding of the universe. As you listen to the next wave crash on the shore, remember, it's not just water moving. It's a phenomenon that once threatened to upturn the world of science and still holds countless mysteries. Dive deep, question, and keep the curiosity alive. If you enjoyed this journey from serene beaches to the furthest reaches of our universe, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more captivating dives into the world around us. Waves might be everywhere, but it's the waves of curiosity and knowledge that will lead us forward.